Mr. Speaker, I rise today to congratulate the Syrian Emergency Task Force, a nonprofit based in Central Arkansas. In May, the University of Central Arkansas awarded the SETF with the 2024 Community Partner of the Year Award for their work to relieve the suffering of those in Syria from Bashar al-Assad's deadly regime. In 2011, the Syrian Emergency Task Force was created in response to the Syrian government's war on its own citizens, many of which were targets, many of the targets of which were innocent kids. It was called the Syrian Emergency Task Force because they thought it would be a short-term emergency in 2011. Here we are a decade later, and they're still hard at work on behalf of ordinary people in Syria. Last summer, I was honored to visit the beautiful children at SETF's sponsored school for orphans, the Wisdom House, in northwest Syria. While there, I heard devastating stories from these children who endured, have endured, and continue to endure continuous bombardment by the Assad regime, their Russian or Iranian co-conspirators, resulting in more orphans on the street and more families displaced. Under UCA graduate and SETF executive director Muaz Mustafa's leadership, SETF works with those in the region and beyond to bring the voices of the Syrian people to the international stage. They are determined to create a safe, safe and free Syria away from the Assad dictatorship. And I want to say thank you to President Davis and many other leaders at the University of Central Arkansas for their support of SETF and their support of the organization's efforts to make a difference in the lives of the Syrian people suffering at the hand of Assad's barbarism. The SETF is more than deserving of this award, and I'm proud to continue to work alongside of them in Congress in combating the Assad regime and helping being a strong advocate for helping the innocent of people uh, regain their freedom, regain their country.